I can't not write this as both as base 10. So I'm going to take the log of 10 to the x is equal to the log of 8.07. We're going to bring the x down, so x log of 10 equals the log of 8.07. Now, those of you who are fairly astute, this is new to you, so this may probably wouldn't have a heck of a lot of meaning, but if you take a look at the log of 10, this is log base 10 of 10 because when there's nothing there, it, there is something, it's a 10. And log base 10 of 10 is one. So this goes away. But I'm gonna leave it in. Because this is the drill. You're gonna divide both sides then whatever, by whatever that log is. So that x is the log of 8.07 divided by the log of 10. This is an exact answer. The minute I, the minute I do the calculation, it's approximate. So you don't have to divide it all? You can mm -mm. just leave it like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Now, if I'm doing an application problem like this guy up here, I wouldn't want to know the answer. I'd have to divide it out. So. That means to do the approximate answer, we know that x is equal to the log of 8.07 divided by the log of 10. And now I'm going to put approximately. I'll move that up. So we're going to have the log of 8.07 divide the log of 10. And notice it's point zero nine six eight seven three five three four seven dot 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 dot. And then I round it. Uh, point zero point nine zero they didn't tell me how many places. Let's take it to three. Point nine zero seven. So point nine zero seven. That's what they mean by approximate. It's when you do the calculation. In this form, it's exact. The minute you do the calculation, you have to round. And the minute you round, it goes from exact to approximate. That was exciting, not. Now, anytime I'm using E, what am I going to use? Oh. LN. So that says, I can't make the bases be the same. Oh. So LN, you can use, by the way, you can use LOG. Again. Yeah. Uh, to the base of e. Yeah, you can LOG. It's just the fact that you get used to, especially with application problems, you, you just use that. But you can, you'll end up with the same thing. And when you do, and when you do a calculation out, you'll find you'll have the same answer that, that I have. So uh, absolutely, you can use the same thing. So natural log of 0.83, bring the x down. So x natural log of e equals the natural log of 0.83. Now the reason why you need use nat natural log is because the natural log of e is 1, and that goes away. So x is the natural log of 0.83. Now that's an exact answer. Or it's the natural log of 0.83 is negative 0.186. So x is approximately negative 0.186. So now it's an approximate answer. Now, if I would have gone the other direction and used log instead, since we have plenty of time, 
take the log of e to the x equals the log of 0.83, which is what you did, right? Yeah. So that x log e equals the log of 0.83. The difference is as that the log of e isn't 1. The log of e is a number other than 1. So x is going to be the log of 0.83 divided by the log of e. Now that's your exact answer. Now if I do the approximate answer, so I'll have the log of 0.83 divided by the log of e And notice I end up in the same place, negative uh, 0.186. Are you going to ask for the approximate answer on the test? Or can we just do the... I don't know. I haven't written it yet. Um, I can let you know more tomorrow. Okay. And this is we're going to be continuing to work on it tomorrow. And I think, let's see, what time is it? Try it out. Huh? Hmm? Whoops. I think we'll just stop here. And we'll pick